Welcome to the launch of the National <coughs> Integrated Business Incubator System, referred to as IBIS, hosted jointly by the Ministry of Labor, Small and Micro Enterprise Development and National Inter Entrepreneurship Development Company Limited, NETCO. <coughs> NETCO is a state enterprise under the Ministry of Labor, Small and Medium <coughs> Enterprise Development, with the implementing agency for the IBIS project. It was only on September 27, 2011, the chairman of NETCO, Ms. Natasha Rambisun, and, and I signed the MOU to give NETCO the mandate to implement this project. I am indeed very proud to stand before you at this very momentous occasion of the ministry as it's really our first substantive program we have created to support micro and small enterprise sector development. Welcome to the launch of the National <coughs> Integrated Business Incubator System, referred to as IBIS, hosted jointly by the Ministry of Labor, Small and Micro Enterprise Development, and National Inter Entrepreneurship Development Company Limited, NETCO. This was truly a collaborative effort of the various arms of government, and we will continue to build on these alliances to the benefit of all the people of Trinidad and Tobago. I thank you. This IBIS initiative is one of the models for the development and success of our micro and small enterprise sector. When it was conceptualized, the objectives of the business incubator program were to enhance economic development in communities and encourage the establishment of competitive and innovative MSEs throughout the country. The program is aimed at offering solutions and interventions that address the problems typically faced by MSEs, such as unaffordable workspaces, information deficiencies, inadequate financing, management deficiencies, and other such problems. These aforementioned issues were identified as acutely problematic during our earlier consultations and resulted in the creation of our integrated business incubator system. This program will be the spirit of partnership between the ministries, EDD, that is the Enterprise Development Department, NEDCO, and MSE entrepreneurs. It will involve a dynamic vision of the EDD and other stakeholders who will continue to be a sphere of influence and sustain the business support. It is expected that part of the development plan of this initiative will include business incubators for the development of micro and small enterprises in this industry. Lest we forget, business incubators help emerging growth companies survive and grow during the startup period when they are most vulnerable. More specifically, they are business assistance programs that provide entrepreneurs with an, in, an inexpensive startup environment and a range of administrative, consulting, and, network, and networking services. In conclusion, this program will involve a commitment of new and existing entrepreneurs, including the numerous students and future stakeholders present this, morning, this afternoon to capitalize on the opportunities to foster creative, technological, and operational ingenuity. The collective result of this combination is an unbridled ability for success. The challenge is to now spread this success to other parts of our country. Once again, I thank our Honorable Prime Minister for gracing us with her presence today and all my other cabinet colleagues who are present and who have taken time off from obviously very busy schedules and in this very critical period in our nation's history to show their support for this initiative of the Ministry of Labor and Small and Micro Enterprise Development. Thank you very much and may God bless us all. So let me say that I'm honored to be invited, Minister, and your team, thank you so much to share in this very landmark event.
which undoubtedly has the potential to stimulate and increase competitiveness in our economy by encouraging and supporting entrepreneurial initiative and innovation. As Minister McLeod has stated, the IBIS system may be regarded as an integral component of our government's economic diversification strategy. My government is fully cognizant of the fact that for economies to thrive and prosper, there must be high productivity, healthy competition, diversified skills, aptitudes, and competencies. And so with the rollout of IBIS, we will be strengthening our stated framework of sustainable development and thereby moving closer to prosperity for all. But at the end of the day, it will be the candidates of IBIS and others like you who will determine whether such support will be successful. Today, as we launch this program, I urge you to commit yourself to your businesses, commit the time, commit the resources, and most importantly, commit your energies to business. And wherever you think that it is beyond you, just remember some of the success stories we have read and heard about over the years. Any one of you here may be the next success story. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. And may God continue to bless our nation. I thank you.